Welcome to All Things Roman. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a honey garlic Roman um, noodle. Today, in this world of um, Roman noodles, there's so many varieties of things that you can put in your Roman. We have beef teriyaki, we have soy sauce, we have sriracha. Sriracha is one of my favorites because you can put this on any type of noodles when we get that kick that you need. And also, we have the very, very teriyaki. Very, very teriyaki is very salty. Let's make that very clear. Very, very salty. But when you do get it and put it on the Roman noodles, exit out for us see who This is the Maracha noodles. Of course, they have it in all varieties. But what makes it so significant is that the competition is top Roman. These are a little bit less in price than the Maracha Roman noodles. So let's go. This is the Nissan brand of Roman noodles, but this is a chow mein brand, but it's still a fabulous noodle. But only thing about this is it's not maracha and it's a little bit higher in price. You can do all types of things to your Roman noodles, but today I'm gonna show you a basic Roman dish called honey garlic Roman. So let's get started. Today here are the ingredients you will need. One can of beef consomme, and you need one pound of beef strips. You need one onion, one whole onion, you need one bunch of cilantro. You need one thing of um, garlic, but you can, if you want to use the cloves of garlic, you might need two. One fourth cup of um, soy sauce, and you need one teaspoon of sesame oil, and you need two and a half tablespoons of honey, and three packs of ramen, a maracha ramen, or you can use any kind of beef bread. First, we're gonna prepare prepare the meat for marinade for the um, for the honey garlic. So let's go over to the table. First you need one cup, one pound of uh, beef strips. So, then we're gonna start with the basic marinade. The marinade is just one, one half teaspoon of garlic. You need one can of beef consomme. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add soy sauce. We're gonna have one fourth cup of, tape, um, of, of soy sauce. Now you don't have to actually fill this on because it provides the beef a little bit of a marinade. Add it to the garlic. Then we need one teaspoon of um, sesame oil. Sesame oil adds a lot of flavor to to be um, to Asian dishes because, of course, it's an oil, but it gives it so much for flavor. And we're gonna add honey. We are. I would add. I would add at least about a couple of tablespoons. So let's add a couple of tablespoons of honey. Add it to the marinade. Now you have to remember with adding your honey, you're gonna need a whisk when doing this because you're gonna have to pretty much incorporate all the ingredients together. So take your whisk and just whisk. And take your beef strips and add it to the marinade. Now I really like beef strips because it gives um, the marinade so much flavor and it gives it this um, favorite Asian taste to it. But it's a real good dish. Now we're gonna let that sit in the refrigerator for about an hour to two hours. But if you're having your you're crunched on time, it really is not a process to marinate as long as you add all the ingredients to the um, meat. So the next step, we're gonna go over here to the stove and we're gonna add some more sesame oil to the um, hot pan. If you have an electric stove, I would suggest that you use it on a six or seven temperature. Six to seven temperature, just add the mirror. Just add some more sesame oil. I would add another um, tablespoon. Just add it to the, um, the pan. There we go. And we're gonna wait for this to get hot. The next step is we're gonna prepare the Roman noodles to be prepared because you don't wanna cook the beef too much that it's overly done because the noodles is gonna be hot enough to finish off the meat. So next we're gonna um, get, a, get a pot. It doesn't have to be a big pot as long as it can hold um, three packs of Roman noodles. So we're gonna add it to the stove. And we're gonna take our beef consomme. And we're gonna add it to the pot. But what's, what you have to remember, 
What you have to remember with adding the beef consomme to the pot, that it has to come to a boil. Not to the point that it's, it's a raging boil, just hot enough to cook the noodles. We're gonna add a lid to it. And that's good. And by the time that happens, we're gonna take the, the beef over here and we're gonna add it to the, um, the hot pan. I wish you could smell this. The next step is we're gonna we're gonna cook the, um, the marinated beef. First, we're gonna add the beef to the hot pan. Now I would use tongs with this, but it adds to the wonderful flavor to it. It's actually oil. You don't want to overcook the um, the beef strips because. The broth from your Roman noodle should um, continuously cook the meat as you add it to your um, soup. Okay, that's there. And we, now you take your beef out the pan. It's not too, oh, it's not too done. You can say it's kind of medium well at the most. Okay. And you turn your your hot pan off. Then we're gonna add that Roman noodle. Now, of course, ramen noodles come with its own seasoning pack, but I would really recommend to sit that aside and continue to um, prepare your noodles as package specified. Just add it to the beef consomme. Now, I will add a little bit of water because beef consomme is a gelatin additive to, um, to the, um, the ramen noodles. Of course, when you add it, once you once you put your noodles into the pot, I will add one cup of water to the beef consomme because beef consomme has an additive in it that's called gelatin, which is a thickener and will thicken it up quickly. So once you add the water to it, it'll kind of loosen it up a little bit. So apply the, the the lid to the pot and just let it cook. And the next step is to the noodles is we're gonna add the lid to the pot and we're gonna let this cook for three minutes in the beef consomme and one and a half cup of water. The next step is we're gonna come over here and prepare our onions for that's your garnish for your noodles. What I love about onions is it gives it this sweet texture, it gives it this wonderful, um, you know, herby taste to it. And also we're gonna um, we're gonna add cilantro to the um, dish. So we're gonna come over here and do the onions, give it a rough chop. Well, I like circles when I um, use my onions because it gives it a more of a um, rounder taste. So I'm gonna add the circles to it. But you can dice your onions if you would like. Any way you would like your onions, you can dice it, you can grill them, you can um, saute them as long as it's the right onions. Next step is we're gonna add the noodles to the bowl. Now I will save some of the noodles, the juice from the consomme to the noodles because it's gonna um, kind of add as a soup thickener to it too as well. I'm gonna add some of the juice. Voila. Then we're gonna add the beef. Onions. And then of course, we're gonna add the last beautiful step to this wonderful dish is cilantro. So we're gonna add a little bundle of the cilantro and we're gonna put it off to the side. And there you have it. Honey garlic Roman. Remember, anything that you can do in Roman noodles can be fabulous. Have a good night.